Welcome to TTVFeatures.com. It's Thursday, February 28th. I'm Remy Hookie for your Commodities Recap. In Energy Nymex crude oil futures soared over 3% on the day, hitting a high at $102.74 a barrel. There is a broad rally across commodities today, given U.S. dollar weakness against the major currencies. Also, geopolitical, inventory, and OPEC expectations ahead of their March 5th meeting all supported the climb in crude prices. April crude ended the session up by $2.98 at $102 dollars and 60 cents a barrel. Other energy futures gained on the day with nat gas futures hitting a high of nine dollars and 498 per million BTU. Natural gas finished the session up by 39.6 cents at nine dollars and 456 per million BTU. Prices are up 28 percent from a year ago. Over in the metals complex, COMEX gold ended up on the day hitting a record high of 974.80 an ounce after the close in electronic trading. April gold added six dollars and 50 cents to settle at 967.50 an ounce. In other metals, March silver gained 43 cents to close at $19.64 an ounce. Now we're joined by Derek Fry, head trader at ONF Futures and Options. He'll weigh in on the rally in commodities and also give us his strategy ahead of the weekend. Recapping the action in the metal and energy sectors today, um, had a record-breaking day in, the, in both sectors, really. Crude oil pushed uh, to and through 102, uh, and gold uh, pushed uh, almost to 975 on the April contract, just shy. Um, so, really, the bottom line here is um, we are not necessarily advising uh, anybody to short either of these markets, but we're also not advising anybody to chase these markets higher at the current levels. We do expect to see a pullback next week. We don't expect to see the pullback necessarily taking shape tomorrow immediately, but as we go through, uh, one of the keys here is we're at the month end, um, and month end is, for, for, for a trader, um, a month is like a year and a week is like a quarter. That's how we break it down in our own minds for, for the most part, um, because our P&L is based on a monthly basis. Uh, so, um, a lot of we've seen a lot of weird activity in the last three trading days of each month over the last five months. If you look back, you'll notice every end of the of the month for the last since October has been wild like this, and we expect that to kind of continue um, for the foreseeable future. Uh, but at the same time, same token, we're, like I said, we're not expecting this uh, movement in the dollar, this fresh break to new lows in the dollar, uh, to gain immediate momentum. In fact, we think you're going to see it basically be a head fake and uh, pull back inside of the already established range that we just broke out of. So uh, one of the key things that I would advise people not to do is hold long positions over this weekend um, in either gold or oil. I think that's a, a very dangerous prospect, so I would encourage people to either protect their, at least protect their positions if they're going to stay in with uh, some tight stops over the weekend, if not outright, get out. Um, so just be very cautious at these extremely lofty levels. The CRB index is hit record highs, uh, you know, for over a week now successively. So be cautious with that. We're definitely near a, at least a near-term uh, peak in this commodity cycle. So, um, like I said, be cautious with new buys, keep stops tight, and uh, protect yourself over the weekend. That was Derek Fry, head trader at ONF Features and Options, with his commodities commentary. And that's it for your commodities recap. I'm Remy Hokey. Join us later this afternoon for PM Exchange right here on etvfutures.com.